Let's do the math. CMS should really have 47 mechanics available to regularly inspect the district's school buses, but right now has 17 vacancies, leaving just 30 employees responsible for more maintenance work, which equals a greater risk they might miss something. We were writing this at home, bro. Because the smoke took a second. What escalated in just a matter of seconds smoke turned into fire. Remains seared into Monty Rushing's memory. And then, you know, like all the windows, it went one by one, bursting into flames. Long after the smoke cleared. Wow. Yeah, the whole front end gone. Then a sophomore at South Mech, Rushing vividly remembers hurrying out the front of her school bus. We were all just glad we got off safely. Moments before it caught fire. You could feel the heat. CMS failed to determine what caused the 2017 fire, but required its staff to be more vigilant moving forward. Almost six years later. I always blame my mom. There's a new transportation director behind the wheel. She started driving a bus when I was about seven. Adam Johnson doesn't just manage. Ever since then, I guess I caught the bug. He also drives a route every day. I started driving a bus when I was 19. Here I am uh, 27 years later. Johnson is well aware of the trust parents place in his hands. He also knows there's room for improvement. We still have work to do. During the district's annual review in late 2022, records show the state took 29 CMS buses out of service, the equivalent of more than one out of every four buses inspected at that time flagged for all kinds of different problems. WCNC Charlotte's review of inspection findings show CMS performed worse than its larger counterpart in Wake County and almost every other nearby district. Not only that, the school system received an inferior grade than it scored the previous year. It's a good lesson for us. Johnson says the school system's staffing woes played a major part. He says just like teachers and bus drivers, Mechanics have also left CMS, largely due to the pay. The workload that they're under, I think there are things that they could do better. While the districts work to make a career here more desirable, mechanics who remain on the job are responsible for the monthly inspections of even more buses. I don't know that they're missing things as much as they're trying to get through everything as quickly as possible. Johnson says 90% of the defects inspectors found, technicians repaired that same day. But as a result of that inspection, he says CMS better trained its mechanics and asked its supervisors to provide additional oversight. We do take this you know, very seriously. We'll make the improvements that are needed and make sure that your kids are riding a safe bus every day. Johnson says, thankfully, the district hasn't experienced any major bus problems with kids on board this school year. I never delete anything. But all you need to do is watch Tamani Rushing's cell phone video. We made it off safely, so that was good. For a reminder of just how quickly things can change. It's not just CMS dealing with this mechanic shortage. Union County tells us vacancies there have impacted maintenance as well. Inspectors pulled seven buses off the road in Union County, during their visit last year. Nate Morabito, WCNC Charlotte.